Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the dividing fractions by integers worksheet and hopefully help you through some of the tricky bits. Question one says complete these calculations, use the bar models to help you. And a is five ninths divided by two. So we've got the bar model here that I've split into nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So each of these is a ninth. And then we're talking about five ninths. So I'm just going to shade that in. So we're talking about five of these ninths. And we are dividing that by two. So I'll just so you, we can see uh, how many equal parts of the whole we'd have. We're going to divide all the ninths into two. So I'm just going to do that here. So you can see that actually, if we divide all the nines by two, we'll have eighteenths. And we're talking about five of those eighteenths. So these five nines here, the nines that we had, the five nines, and we've, we're have splitting those into two. So actually we'll have one, two, three, four, five of the eighteenths. So five nines divided by two will be five eighteenths. B says four sevenths divided by three. So here's our bar model with our sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll talk about four of those sevenths. So we're just going to shade in four of these sevenths here. And we're dividing our sevenths by three. So let's divide all the sevenths by three so we can see how many equal parts the whole will have. And if we count those up, we'll have 21. So there'll be 21 equal parts. We're talking about four of the sevens that we started with, and we are splitting those into three. So there'll be one, two, three, four of those 21 equal parts. Four sevens divided by three will be four of 21. Question two says, choose from the fraction cards below to complete the number sentence. We have four six, five eighths, four twenty fourths, and five twenty fourths, and we're dividing by three. So we have to choose two of those fraction cards to complete the number sentence. Let's just start by going through them one at a time. So if we start with four six divided by three, and we'll see if the result of this matches any of the other fraction cards that we have. So four six divided by three. So we'll be splitting the sixths into three equal parts. So out of the whole, there we'd have 18. We'd have 18 equal parts, and we're looking at four of those. So four six divided by three will be four eighteenths. Now we don't have any of those on our fraction cards. Uh, we could simplify four eighteenths down though. So we could divide each of those by two, which would make two ninths, but we still don't have that as a fraction card. So the next one then is five eighths. So five eighths divided by three. So we'll be splitting each of the eighths into three equal parts. Uh, so all together there we'd have 24 equal parts. We talk about five of them, so that'll be five twenty-fourths. And we do have that as one of our fraction cards there. So the two fraction cards we can choose would be the five eighths and the five twenty-fourths. Question three says uh, Yumna and Dawood are dividing fractions and they're doing five sevenths divided by four. And Dawood says, I think the answer is five of 21. And Yumna says, I think the answer is five of 28. So who is correct and explain how we know? Well, we can prove how we know it by carrying out the calculation. So if we have five sevenths divided by four, so we'll be looking at five of those sevenths, but all the sevenths are going to be divided into four equal parts. Uh, so out of the whole there, there'd be 28 equal parts. We're looking at five of them, so that'd be five over 28. So looking at the two statements that the children made, uh, it was Yumna who said, I think the answer is 528, so it would be her who would be correct. That was a video for the answers for the dividing fractions by integers worksheet. If you want to watch a video tutorial of these skills in this worksheet, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or for more resources, links to this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.